So I want to be specific about what happened at this corner. Michael D. Herrera and Sean Johnson were brutally beat. They were ex-boyfriends. Well, uh, Michael came out to see what had happened to his, um, his ex-boyfriend to see if he was going to be okay. As he was getting arrested, the cops pulled him off the corner as he was talking on his cell phone and beat him. Uh, I actually heard about it from YouTube because somebody sent it to me on YouTube because this is what Denver is repping around the world right now. Um, so I want to spend a little bit of time, you know, all of us really thinking about how important it is for us to stand up for, our, for each other and stand up for our friends and don't let something like this keep you from, from making sure that your friends are okay. Uh, and I'm gonna, maybe I'll do like a, a quick thing real fast. Um, we're gonna start really quiet and then we're gonna get loud. There's a, a bunch of queer organizations all over the country that do this chant. It goes, um, uh, it goes, it is our duty to fight. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to, we must love each other and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. So we're gonna start quiet and then we're gonna get loud. It is our duty to fight. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love each other and protect each other. We must love each other and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight. It is our duty to win. We must love each other and protect each other. We must love each other and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. One more time, top of your lungs. It is our duty to fight. It is our duty to fight. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love each other and protect each other. We must love each other and protect each other. Excuse me. How you doing, man? It's good to see you, man. Hi. Simpson's hemp oil cures cancer. Let's, uh, 
Huh? Rick Simpson's hemp oil. You should Google it, really. Run from the cure because it's been out for years. <laughs> the rug and I was put in the body bag send off as John Doe I had a face dead and, and, and I was in a coma three weeks they beat me in a coma three weeks I got taser burns all over my body 45 different tasers all over my body I got taser burns all over my elbows my knees 43 officers tasering me at one time I was beat into a coma the church called me Lazarus said I came back from the dead like Lazarus but I know that it's a purpose for me to come back, for the police to stop beating and harming our people. When we got to stand up and stop it, or it won't stop. We can't be scared of them. We can't be afraid. Us the people, we got to stand up sooner or later, or more people is going to die in the hands of cops in Denver. Amen. Corrupt. In the city to finally put them on administrative leave. You had murderers in that jail cell working. These people should be held up on criminal charges. And really, the community should be outraged because of this type of behavior. So uh, we're trying to continue to bring this to the minds of the community, to the citizens, so we can keep the pressure on the city to take the steps that are necessary to try to protect us from this type of behavior. And what do you want to see happen? What we would like to see is the police officers that were involved with the assault and the murder not just be suspended. We want to see them brought up on criminal charges. When you kill somebody, you, you, you lose your right to liberty, and they should be arrested and charged criminally, just like a citizen would. On top of that, we'd like to see Jerry Whitman finally resign from this position because this has happened continuously under his watch and he keeps protecting his officers instead of doing his job and protecting the community. On top of that, we want more community input 
into the hiring of the safety manager. So we don't get somebody like Perea who's willing to just pass the buck when he sees somebody in blue committing a crime. These are just a couple of the things that we're looking at today to start putting pressure on the city to follow through. Perfect. What did I wow. do? You are a kid. It could have been your brother, right, okay. your sister, or it could have been you being brought up on some kind of misdemeanor charge where you try to get your shoes and somebody beats you to death. There's something fundamentally wrong with that if you are not upset when you hear this. And we're hoping that people realize that and come out and support Marvin Booker's family in their quest for justice. Perfect. Great. Say it again. There's a few that's fucking not. What about the ones that help cover up the other ones that murder? Well, they're dickheads. Eh? Well, they are dickheads. Behave yourself. Be nice. I am being nice. Don't touch me! 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 Don